So far, the Buckhead City movement has been blocked by your rhino, Lieutenant Governor, who's bad news, Jeff Duncan. And Brian Kemp is against, against, you know, Brian Kemp is your biggest problem. He's against you doing what you have to do. Did you guys catch that? That's Donald Trump at his Georgia rally. He was going to rail on Brian Kemp, current governor of the state, who's a Republican, who he was all about until he didn't do everything lock and step to galvanize Trump's push that the 2020 election was stolen. So first he's gonna call him a rhino, man, Brian Kemp is the problem. And he said he's fighting right. I mean, he's not the guy you want. I think maybe he was up a little bit too long. Either way it goes, he was confused throughout, I think, in many moments of this speech. But not only about that, when it came to gas prices, apparently there's barrels, there's pumps, there's $2, there's $250. I don't know, watch. Because energy is so expensive today, a gallon, you take a look at your, forget about it, the pump. You take a look at a barrel now, it'll be $2, it could be, people are saying it's going to go up to, If think of this, people are saying, Per barrel, this is going over $100, it's going over $150, it's going up to $200 and $250. So we're making these countries rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I think we noticed that one particular moment. Let's go to, let's go to that third, uh, third side again, you guys, because that Vietnam veteran was just as confused, I think, as everyone else when it comes to pump versus the... F- Barrels. It's going up this to two hundred and two hundred and fifty dollars. So we're making these countries rich. <laughs> so we're making these countries rich. What? What's going what are you on, dude? Talking about? I don't understand <laughs> what you're talking. You talking about barrels? You talking about gallons? You talking about pump? Look, Donald Trump is um, sometimes can be very marbly mouth. This one was particularly marbly mouth and confused. And maybe it gets to the idea that Donald Trump is having some sort of health issues that is causing some sort of mental deficiencies that he's speaking even worse than usual. I mean, some, he, he does have that cadence, the Donald Trump cadence and sort of things that draws people in, but it makes even less sense now. It's weird. I don't know. And by the way, since you can throw out. Everyone knows what the prices are when they go and fill up their tanks. But I think a lot of people don't really pay attention to the price per barrel and how that translates. I don't, but I looked it up. So there's a current cost of oil per barrel. And this is from middle of March. It's from CNBC that said US oil tumbled more than 8% Monday. Again, this is like March 14th around, breaking below $100 per barrel. That's amid talks between Russia and Ukraine, as well as new COVID-19 lockdowns in China, which could dent demand. So they're talking about why, again, that price is $100 per barrel at that point. He said 100, 150, 200 to 250. He's just throwing numbers out there, he doesn't (laughs) know. Uh, also, West Texas Intermediate Crude Futures, the US oil benchmark, lost 8.75% to trade at $99.76 per barrel at the lows of the day. International benchmark Brent Crude shed 8% to $103.68 per barrel. So again, we're dancing around 100 bucks. Maybe it could get to 150. I haven't seen those numbers, but there was a point when it got to 113, 114. Again, not that that's all great because we see the prices and there's other factors behind it, but just the fact you can go there. Spot off a bunch of lines and say numbers and prices per barrel and gas pump and one dollar and two. Where's the one and two dollar part he's talking about? Because that's a great <laughs> gas price. <laughs> well, and it, and it gets to this idea. Look, if Donald Trump had said, you know, gas prices might go up from you know five dollars a gallon to eight dollars a gallon to twenty dollars a gallon. People would be looking at him like this guy is totally lost his mind. Even if gas prices spike, they're not going to twenty dollars a gallon. But that's what he is saying when he talks about the price per barrel. And perhaps he's lucky that most people don't know what the price per barrel is, because if they did, people would say this guy is totally off his rocker. He has no idea what he's talking about. Not only is he just making stuff up, he's making stuff up that is complete nonsense. There must be something wrong with him mentally. But because he's talking about barrels, he gets a break. I mean, yep. it's it's sad. And if he did say twenty dollars per gallon at the pump, people would go, "That's right." <laughs> 